Hello and welcome to West Coast Thrift Journey. I'm Tammy Fletcher. Are you looking to add the Southwestern flair to your bohemian and eclectic style home? Well, come along today as we shop my 10 top ideas that we will be looking for today while we are thrifting in the Goodwill and also the Goodwill bins. We will also be talking about going vintage shopping and also what I find at estate sales and also yard sales. So let's get Get into the store and see what we find today. Let's go thrifting. So typically the southwestern look usually comes out of Texas, Arizona, California, Mexico, and Utah. So today we'll be talking about some of these looks and also how to achieve them. The first item that we'll be looking for today is pottery. Finding pottery in very neutral colors is a really great way to achieve the Southwestern look in your home. So if you are finding pieces that are in the browns or even some of the reds, like even some terracotta, that would be really helpful to you to achieve this look. Just look at what I found today. Moving on to number two, which is art. Art is such a great way to add a really beautiful, different flair to your home. And that Southwestern look is really hopping today. I really love the look of it. And now it doesn't really matter whether you're doing kind of a prairie look with some women in it or some cowboys and their horses. You are sure to find a really beautiful piece at your thrift store, antique store, or even those yard sales and just collage them on the wall in a gallery wall. It is a really great way to add this beautiful look to your home. So be sure to check out all of the thrift stores and find the really great pieces that you are looking to achieve this look. The third thing that I'll be looking for today is kitchen decor. I found this really beautiful piece of pottery that is actually from Japan. It is full of color, but this would be really great to add your flowers to or even some really great utensils. As you can see, it's got a really great price on it and it is made in Japan so you know how old this piece is. But I really love to add pieces like this to my kitchen and I think this will help add this Western flair. I also think it would look really beautiful with some dishes that are really colorful. The other piece that I actually found that I thought was simply precious is this cowboy that is sleeping with his straw hat on. Just look at him. Can you imagine him on your countertop or even on the center of your dining table? Finding pieces like this sure do add a little kitschy flair to your Southwestern home. One of the other things that I love to add to my kitchen is wood spoons. I have some favorite spoons of all different sizes and shapes. I think they sure do add a lot of flair. Also look for painted spoons. I think they're so beautiful. So mirrors is number four. Today I will be looking for a really beautiful mirror to add to my wall and to help bring in some more light into my home. They are such a great way to add that Southwest flare. I think this mirror would be just perfect for that look. And always be sure to check your estate sales and also Facebook marketplace for mirrors. So now I'm going to check out and we are going to head over to the Goodwill bins where we are going to get to my next item which is number five handmade textiles. I really love looking for pieces that have such great design, like this Mexican handmade blanket. I also love the design on some of these pieces that I'm going to show you that you could even use on your sofa. Also, you can find fabric while you are thrifting or even at yard sales. I love to make handmade poofs 
or even footstools or to recover a beautiful bench that you find at a yard sale. I really love how they will help you achieve this look. I just want to take a moment and say thank you guys so much for coming along today. I really value your opinions, so be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought about like this plate and also some of the art and some of the other items that will be coming up as some of the things that I will be looking for. Before we move on, I just have to show you this really beautiful piece of art that I found for only $3. But now we're going to be moving on to one of my favorites, number six, furniture. Now, when I get into the furniture department, I get so excited because I can change the look by doing a DIY project. Just look at some of the furniture that I found today. As I am looking at the furniture, I think about the quality of the piece and then I think about cleaning it up and painting it and changing it to a new piece. I think it would be so gorgeous. Just look at this dresser. It is so absolutely beautiful and I love the inspiration picture that I found. Look at how gorgeous that is. But for just a few dollars and the quality on a piece like this, you just cannot beat. It is such a really great piece for just a few bucks and a little bit of paint. But just think about what you could do. Also, look at how beautiful the inside of this drawer is. It is in such great condition. I wouldn't even change the handles on this piece. I think they are simply marvelous. Just look at this other color. This would be really great in a green. So now we're gonna move over to this other cabinet that I found, I think it's so beautiful. So as I open up this cabinet, I realize that it's actually an old radio. This is from the 1900s. This is really gorgeous and hard to come by. I can't believe that I found this at the bends, but I can only imagine how beautiful I could make this piece look. Another piece as I rounded the corner is this old record stand. Now you store your records inside of it, but I really love that you could paint this up and actually hang some records above it and then add your record player right on the top of it. I think it's a really great way to DIY a piece and actually change it up by adding some new color to it. Just look at all of the different things that you can do. You could just look at some ideas on Pinterest and find some great ideas. With so many furniture pieces going to the landfill, you are sure to find something that you can save today. Here's another piece that needs to be rescued. Look at how gorgeous you could make this. I actually think this would be really beautiful in a little girl's bedroom or even as an office desk. We've all come across those pieces that we just wonder what they would look like, but here's some inspiration for some of those pieces that you have seen in your thrift stores. No bohemian eclectic style Southwestern home should ever go without a trunk. This is a really great piece to pick up. It is really great for storage. It is cedar lined, so you could add all of your blankets to it, or you can add your games that you could have a game night or even some puzzles. There are just so many furniture pieces that are ready to be rescued like this beautiful hutch. Here is another taste of inspiration that you could paint this piece up and make it really beautiful. I just love to paint hutches and I have found some really reasonably priced hutches when I came to the Goodwill bins. This whole entire hutch is priced at only $3. What a really great find. Now I would pop out all of the glass and add some other elements to it, but this is a really great piece to pick up if you are looking to do a DIY to flip and sell. I also love to marry coffee tables and headboards. I think they make a really fabulous bench. Now we are moving on to storage number six. 
I love to find storage, but gotta get creative. I love to find little pieces like this that I can just pull the strap off of and add to either a shelf with some organization of maybe some Q-tips or something like that. But I also love to find these little wooden boxes. They are really great to hide items in like your remotes. And to find baskets for storage is another great way to add a lot of storage to your home and to keep things all cleaned up for that southwestern look. I also found this piece. Now leave me a comment below and let me know what you would do with this. I think this would be really great to use for a DIY. But now we're moving on to number seven, ottomans. As I'm going through the bins, I found these really great poofs. I love to mix up the bohemian and eclectic style along with that southwestern flair by using some of these poofs and some really great ottomans. I think they look really beautiful together and you just can't go wrong when you're mixing it up and creating your own style. I just love taking the time and going through the bins. You never know what you're going to find. About a year ago, I actually found a piece just like this and I was really happy to do so. The next item on my list, number eight, is baskets. I love baskets and if you have watched my channel before, you all know that I resell a lot of them. This is a couple of pieces that I've picked up, but to find baskets with a lot of inspiration and that southwestern flair with a lot of black and tan, or even pieces that you could make into a light. It is really great to add baskets to your home for a lot of texture and color. Unfortunately, this basket was a little too damaged for me, so I did leave it behind. But now I'm gonna take some time and go through some of these little bins glass here is just about just maybe under a dollar a pound and i think finding pieces like this is just a really great deal i actually think this plate right here would look really beautiful laid underneath a pot for your plant to drink its water out of now a lot of pieces are damaged and as i look at them i think about what i could do with them this looks like it did actually have a lid that got broken but i really love the colors on it I would really love for you all to leave me a comment and let me know what you have found recently during your thrift trips to the Goodwill or your local thrift stores. I also would love to hear what you guys are going to be looking for in the future. There are so many great pieces that are just left to go to the landfill and I really hope that you guys take the time to find these items before they head there and they just become waste on our earth. As I was going through some of the bins, I actually came across these really great desks. Now these would be really beautifully painted in a really great black color. And then adding some of that Southwestern flair. Just look at this inspiration picture that I found. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit more time and browse around some of these bins and see what else I can find. I actually think this poncho is really beautiful, but I think it would make a really great pillow. So leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think about that. Oh look, here is another poof. Now these are actually all, um, have all of the material from the inside taken out, but these will be really great to refill and to reuse. Look at how beautiful they can actually look. Also, look at this teapot lamp that I found. Isn't this so adorable? Now, I did not grab that, but I did grab this little tin with a floral print on it. But we will be talking about some lighting coming up. But not before I grab up this cute little table. I will be painting this up and I will be reselling it on Facebook Marketplace.
But first, here is another furniture piece that I could not even believe that I found. This would be a really great DIY. I can't believe that it's only one buck. If you could just imagine it looking like this. Just moments ago, I spoke about picking up fabric from the thrift store. This is a really great piece to pick up to recover benches, footstools, or even a sofa. Finding fabric is just a really great way to keep your costs down. You can even make some pillows, which is number eight. What a great way to utilize some of that fabric or to find some really great pillows for that Southwestern Bohemian eclectic style. Look at this pillow, isn't it so adorable? I'm always finding pillows when I'm going thrifting, so you are sure to find them yourself at yard sales, estate sales, or even your local thrift store, or if you have a Benz. Also, you guys know that I love elephants, so I'll be picking these up as well today. I am definitely so excited to find these pillows. I am going to be using these in my own home, as I'm sure you can understand. So number nine is lighting. There is nothing like adding lighting to your home, no matter what kind of look you are trying to achieve in the bohemian and eclectic style. I love to find lamps that actually go a long ways to adding different elements of the Southwestern look or the Asian look, but here is some inspiration for you. And also check out your antique stores or your vintage stores. I also love to find rugs, which is number 10. To add a lot of texture to your home and to your floors across your whole entire home is to find some beautiful rugs. You are also able to find those at yard sales and estate sales, but I find a lot of rugs on Facebook Marketplace and I clean them up and resell them. So be sure to check out your Facebook Marketplace for really great values. And even adding a floral print rug to your floors for that Southwestern Bohemian look is surely helping to add that thrifted inspiration to your home. I hope you found inspiration today in this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share it to your friends. Leave me a comment below, and thank you so much for watching. If you are looking to purchase anything from my website, you can find my website at www.westcoastthriftjourney.shop.